Hello everybody, today in front of me I have Nubia Red Magic 7 smartphone and in this video we would like to share the top 5, well, pro tips and features for this device. Alrighty, so the first one is the fact that you can set your finger as the unlock method or as a screen lock method, so let's go ahead and open up the settings. At the settings you want to head straight for the password fingerprint and face detection. In here you'll have the separate fingerprint section that you want to tap on in order for the fingerprint unlock feature to be set up. We'll turn on the phone unlock toggle. In here, uh, prior to getting or should I say activating any biometrics screen lock methods, it is required that we have the backup method from the list of pattern pin or password. I'll go with pattern, draw the pattern that I would like to use, tap on the continue and confirm it once again. After that, we can start scanning our finger by simply laying it onto this sensor that is located at the, well, lower, should I say, part of our display. So simply lay and lift it onto the sensor. Don't, don't be afraid to apply a slight force. Make sure to rotate your finger each time you lay it onto the scanner uh, in order for the entire surface of your fingerprint to be scanned correctly. And as you can see, we have successfully enrolled our fingerprint. Let's go ahead and uh, test how well it unlocks the screen. As you can see, no problems at all. And here you have some slight configurations that you can play with. Alrighty, so the second tip or the second option that we would like to show you in this video is uh, another biometrical uh, screen lock method, is the face recognition. So let's go ahead and activate it as well. Allow the face unlock to use the camera. In order for it to be enrolled, simply place your face inside the circle frame and get it scanned. I'll do it off the screen real quick. Alrighty, so my face has been successfully enrolled. Let's test it out. As you can see, once I aligned the selfie camera with my face or <laughs> my face with selfie camera, the screen of this device gets successfully unlocked, just like so. So it works just fine. The next tip or option that we, that we, that we were to show you in this video is the, located at the display category of settings. In here we have the show screen refresh rate and as you can see it uh, provides you with plenty of values that you can switch between from 60 Hz all the way up to 165 Hz. So the higher you go the silkier and smoother animations and overall picture visual experience you get but at the same time higher values up to use significantly more uh, battery so the power consumption increases well significantly should I say. So in here uh, you're able to decide the perfect screen or display refresh rate that fits your needs best. The per uh, me, myself, I'll go with, I go with the higher value of 120 Hertz, but not as high as 165 Hertz since I want for the power, the power consumption not to be all the way up to roof, you know. So in here, choose the value that you think fits your needs best. And in here, there is also this little the status bar shows the screen refresh rate value toggle that once activated, as you can see, we'll uh, display the current value, the, the, the current value that, that is set for this option at the left part of your status bar, just right here. Alrighty, so moving on to the next tip or feature that is located at the cooling fan category of settings. And as you could already guess, it is the cooling fan. So let me turn it on so you can hear uh, how loud it is. It is. Alrighty, I hope you could hear that. In here, once enabled, there is the fast cooling option, which will uh, maximize the speed of this fan or intelligent adjustment, which will automatically be adjusted with the current temperature of our CPU. There are also two toggles that allows us to automate the cooling fan usage. So once turned on, as you can see, you, you can even like actively or manually disable the cooling fan. But once these toggles are active, the cooling fan will automatically be activated once the game is entered or once uh, we put our phone into the well fast charge state. So a very cool feature if you would like to cool the temperature of your smartphone down or your CPU is getting heated sig significantly or like drastically, feel free to activate this option, a very useful one, in order to prevent your phone from overheating 
as well. Alrighty, so moving on to the final, the fifth and final tip and option for this video, which is located at the light strip setting category. And here, let's activate it just like so by turning on this toggle. As you can see, uh, at the back part of our phone, we have this strip and this outline as well, which we can set up the light FX for. So let's say uh, the scenario that you would like to configure is once you get the notification, in here you can choose the LAD effect, so breeze flashing or steady lightning up. Let's go with flashing. Uh, there is also the option that allows us to choose the color for it. I'll go with red one, for example, and once I flip the phone, I can preview it. As you can see, it flashes right here. And there is a toggle that basically allows us to turn on and turn off the LED effects in general. There are also a couple of other scenarios like incoming calls, call, charging, alarm clock, which you can set and configure as we did with the notification, just like so. There is also the red magic symbol lamp, this one, this icon, which can be respectively turned on or turned off. So once I turn it off, as you can see, the light is gone. And it also allows us to set the LED effect for it. So once I set it to breeze mode, it, the animation for it is the breezing animation. Alrighty, so we highly recommend that you enter this light strip setting and customize the, the back light strip as you want, as you wish, basically. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.